Swedish driver Pontus Tiedemann arrived at the New Zealand first round of the 2015 FIA Asia Pacific Rally Championship very much an unknown in the region, but with form good enough to have recently been contracted as a Skoda Works driver. This will be a really good experience for me. I think I will learn really much, so I'm really happy to do this championship this year. So uh, just do my best. It's the only thing we can do and try to get as so much experience as we can. Tiedemann took that enthusiasm into the event. And while teammate Gorav Gill had drive shaft problems, the Swede was uncatchable on the fast cambered roads near the northern city of Whangarei. A win on his first event in the championship was a great start. On Rally New Caledonia, though, a small mistake on the third stage saw him puncture a rear tyre. Unfortunately, Tiedemann and co-driver Emil Axelson were forced to pull over and change the tyre, resulting in a time loss dropping them down the order. The rest of the rally saw them in fight-back mode, unable to beat teammate Gill for the win, but still getting the MRF Skoda back into second place. In the Australian round, Tiedemann found the forest roads difficult to read and ran second to Gill for all of the first day. But he kept the pressure on his teammate and on lucky stage 13, he took the lead, albeit by just 1.3 seconds. Through the rest of that morning, he managed to hold on to first place, but the gap between the two Skoda drivers was still only four seconds. Then, after midday service, Gil retired, allowing Tiedemann to cruise to victory. Yeah, it's been a good fight. Gil is going really quick, so it's, it's been a great event, and I enjoy to be here in Australia. In addition to a big points lead in the championship and the cup, Tiedemann won the FIA Pacific Cup. With temperatures of 40 degrees plus, Malaysia is likened to rallying in a sauna, and Tiedemann was quickly put to the test, spinning early in the first stage, then having to stop on stage three to remove grass from the radiators. As it often does, the event turned into an endurance test, with more stops to clear block radiators and the heat and humidity taking its toll on stamina and concentration. But Tiedemann pushed on, surviving torrential rain on the final stage to win the event, two minutes ahead of his MRF teammate. The forests in Japan's rally Hokkaido presented a completely different challenge. Fast, narrow roads and a soft surface that became deeply rutted and waterlogged after torrential rain on day one. Pushing on at speed was challenging, carrying with it the risk of aquaplaning off the road. With Gill out due to a mechanical problem, Tiedemann went on to win the event by a massive 12 minutes, earning himself an unassailable lead in the points, and even with a round to go, allowing him to celebrate becoming the APRC Drivers' Champion and the winner of the Worth Cup. Axelson took the co-driver's title and MRF Skoda won the Manufacturer's Award for 2015. To me it's been a good good season here in, uh, so far in, uh, in the APRC. It's a good title to have on your uh, CV, so I'm really happy with this. At the championship finale, the China Rally, Skoda flew in a brand new R5 car for Tiedemann to drive. No surprises then when he took an early lead. And while his teammate initially threatened to overtake him, when Gill crashed out, Tiedemann's only real challenges for the rest of the rally were the rain, the mud and the slippery concrete. Arriving back at the final service, Tiedemann and Axelson were congratulated by their Skoda team bosses. Five wins from six events was an excellent result for the 24-year-old Swedish driver. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic, so uh, so happy that I'm doing this APRC championship and a lot good of experience and good memories, so yeah, it's memory for the life.